Hey guys, and welcome back to Ocean Not Included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. This is the Rockefeller Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space where we've managed to get 16 duplicates moving into the future. I would like to say as comfortably as possible, but oh man, have we had some, uh, some disasters going off over here. We've got polluted oxygen spread everywhere. We've got the, uh, the, the cooling lines are empty and our petroleum boiler. I mean, it, we've now got it up and running again. It is now um, producing petrol and indeed will be producing oil rather shortly. But the whole uh, how we're going to deal with this magma here is kind of broken. And one of the main ways that it was broken was the uh, the hydro sensor here was detecting the amount of lava that was there. I mean, that obviously would stop working the moment things uh, get chilly. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to say, hey, if this is above the heaviest you can do, I we're just going to turn it off. It's never going to send any more signals. And we're going to do everything off of this temperature threshold sensor that we've got here. That should enable our uh, magma to stay back from the cooling rocks here and stop one of the major flaws that happened when uh, all power died and everything everything chilled out. Another thing we need to do, I think Kira is coming along to demonstrate. Oh, I, I noticed this. We need to uh, disable that, disable this, and disable this one as well uh, because we got some polluted water over there, but I'll, I'll discuss that in a second. Uh, we, we've got a whole bunch of sour gas in here and it is ridiculously hot. It melted, well, it started causing damage to the systems that we had to excavate out all of the rock here. Uh, so we need to try and empty this out, cool it down, uh, and then start again. I think I know how I'm going to do it this time. I thought I knew last time, but you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try again. Uh, we're, we're definitely gonna need to get ourselves one of these robo miners made out of steel for preference. Oh, most of my steel has been sent over to Beglolia for some reason. I noticed this uh, whilst watching the uh, the, the colony ch uh, tick over up here. This is this is just sending all the steel that it has out and away. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear that and then uh, do you reckon we can empty this somehow? I don't know if there's a way of us getting that out of there. I'll I will have a. Oh, am I going to have to take it apart? Regardless, anyway, we need to uh, stop sending our steel away so we can start uh, making a nice little harvesting system for the igneous rock so we can keep this turning over. We do have a bunch of sour gas in there, and I'm kind of tempted to break in, throw down a tile, and then kind of vacuum it all out. I think vacuuming is going to have to happen anyway in here. So let's, let's get a pump. Is, is it going to be able to... It's, it's very hot over here. It's very hot over here, but I think we should be able to do it. We've got a uh, radiant liquid pipe here. It's not got any liquids in it. Don't worry about that. Just its mere being is enough to transfer temperature around, and then that is uh, being cooled down over here. We, we do need to enhance the cooling in this area somewhat, but that's, that's way, way down the list of problems that I've got. One of the top ones is the fact that I've got a whole bunch of polluted water in these granite pipes here. Uh, and I've discovered that despite having a nice little skill to be able to remove that, I lack the colonist to do so. So that kind of leaves me with one option only. Uh, we're going to rip this down. Uh, it's the pipes on each. Unfortunately, somehow, and I'm not entirely sure how, the coolant loop got put on the same pipeline as the water feed for the oil wells here. You can see that down here we have a, a storage tank filled with both types of water uh, that's where we emptied the drain and uh, made sure that these were separate it's a bit of a mess here so you can understand why I made that mistake you know what should we try and fix this so looking at it we could we could just make this uh, like nicer to look at like if we do that and then rip down the the bridge there it, it won't be such a mess when we're looking at it Kind of like that. They've they've left one behind. All right, we'll we'll, li we'll leave them to it. We'll leave them to it. And this cooling line is being filled. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the polluted water has been let loose. That's fine. That's fine. We've now rehooked up all of the pipeline here. And if we trace trace it back, we find the break that I put in where the polluted water had managed to uh, make its way in. Okay, so this should now be 100% pure, clean fresh water going in there. We've got a little bit of steam going in, but we, we have systems to deal with that. Okay, beautiful. 
whilst we're dealing with the carnage on Pyaxlid. Should we should we keep this little wall moving here? We're trying to compress all the magma down into the magma machine. As you can see, we're starting to run out over this side. There's desperate times. Desperate times. Uh, once this gets built, I'll put that up on a nine. We'll then like dig this one out as well if we can. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just be like, hey, can you do this one fair? Whoever, whoever's going to come along, can you just do it kind of now? I think it's going to be... Oh, Franklin, not, not looking too hot there. Not looking too hot, but... I think they should be fine about it. I should imagine it's uh, like this area here for some reason. It just, just gets hot. Uh, I mean, I say for some reason. It's these uh, ridiculously hot 100 degree igneous rock back there. We should really, really do something about that. We could get a better sensor set up over here and uh, turn off the line a bit quicker, but be a bit more responsive. But hey, it's been doing us well and we're about to run out of magma. So I, I feel very, very unmotivated to do so. I thought it was a bit weird. Franklin doesn't have the ability to build, uh, to dig obsidian, I don't believe. So it, th this must be Rutherford doing it. Look, who is it? Franklin. Yeah, she just gets scolded right here. I don't, I don't know why. Is it this? For, yeah, 40 degree patrol. Let, let's try mopping that up and see if that helps. Okay, Rutherford got to it. Beautiful. I've asked him to also dig out this one. I think we're going to have to try and just let the pressure out as we build forwards here. It feels like the only way we can actually do this. Okay, that's, that's not quite as expected. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure where the steam came from, but it is super heated. So uh, to, to be able to pump this, well, to be able to not destroy my gas pump here. In fact, I'm going to have to rip this down. As soon as as soon as the steam is gone, I am going to have to rip that down. Because, man, like, uh, it was sat in sour gas that was a nice toasty 80 degrees. I, I, I literally have no idea where the steam came from. Uh, I can't see anything from down here. Like, all I can feel is maybe it like washed in this way somehow. I, I still don't know how that would have happened though. Okay, so the pump didn't last too long, but we're going to try the age-old trick of just ripping it down and putting it back up again, and hopefully that will work out for us. Is that being built? Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Uh, pop that down, give that another nine. Uh, I've also noticed that we built the power, not that one, the power out of lead, and uh, actually, uh, this is getting rather close. Uh, if we have a look, its temperature at the moment is... If I look at the right one, 285. It's made out of lead, and lead melts at 200, uh, 327. Uh, that's only, you know, a few degrees out, 50 degrees or so. Uh, 40? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm asking that to be replaced with gold, which they seem to be complaining about, but I think that's because uh, Curie is carrying it now. Okay, this one's temperature is definitely going up as well, but you know what? I think we're okay. I think this will hold out. If we've got enough for a second one, I sure would like that. Uh, we should probably try and get the infrastructure in place before we actually build it, though. Let's just move Curie back inside to do these jobs. She, she was standing in the sour gas. That's that's not great. She actually wants to go get some oxygen. That that's fine. So we're getting close. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop down the gas pump here. Hopefully the priorities will carry it through in the right order. Uh, good good work, Curie. Good work. How close are we to being done with the day? Because that's probably going to be one of the limiting factors. We we, we have a fair bit of time. I'm not sure if Curie's got the time, but you know. No, we, we, we've got time. Oh, she's off. Well, that's kind of held up proceedings a little bit. Okay, we've hit the panic button and hoped for someone other than Curie, and indeed Maxwell is on board. All right, hello. You uh, also seem to be a little bit ill. Uh, maybe you're suffering from allergies. Really, really? It's going to swap to somebody else now, and then back to Maxwell. That's crazy times. It is crazy times on the Aaron's list, but it looks like we're going to be able to get this done here. This gas pump, only up to 61 degrees at the moment. Okay, that's pretty good. I wonder whether the uh, the liquids here are helping out. We will find out with this one, uh, guaranteed. 900 degrees here oh my gosh this is uh why is it so warm in this little bit in the corner here i like there's no there's no like gradation here we can't it's just all all just hot <laughs> can't can't tell one one packet from the other oh <laughs> Okay, the good news is the temperature is not, like, insanely climbing. Uh, it is climbing, but very slowly. I can, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. We've only taken on a point one of the degree. Uh, this pile of igneous rock reminds me that we've got a problem to solve here that I, I hadn't really thought about, and I, it does need to be solved. We're going to dig the, the igneous rock here when, when the temperature is right. 
then we pick it up with a with an auto sweeper and dump it on the line. We we need to we need to call it after that. And uh, I don't know, like, do we throw it in the petroleum? No, we'll flat we'll flash the petroleum hot because it's still going to be 1100 degrees, something like that over here. And I'm not sure if that's actually what we want. If we can get a good and kind duplicate to come along, I think it'd be nice to stick a hole in the side of here and drain out all this sour gas so that we're not not superheating this that that is going to be maybe a little bit more trouble to the gas pump but i think it can handle it uh also we are ooh, we are getting some sour gas escaping but it's not much i was expecting most of it to get overwritten by the gases that we already have here let's have a look at the gas overlay uh, and the stuff coming out i mean it's pretty warm it's pretty warm but we should be able to i don't know I'll, uh, how are we going to cool stuff down? I feel like we need a cooling loop back and forth here. And then we bring up the the hot stuff this way and pass it past the cooling loop. Like All this will, will get ripped down and it will just be... How, how, how will we maintain a vacuum? Yeah, hmm. No, we could, we could take it through the tiles. Yeah, okay. No, we think, things could work. Things could work. Optimism. That's what I run my colony on. Optimism. <laughs> It might be so tenuous in here that our duplicates are not getting superheated by it. Okay, I can, I can live with this. I can live with this. Von Braun is just full on not complaining. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen when we open this, though. That That is also... Oh, no, no. Need, need to go breathe. It, it always happens. It literally always. May, maybe the fact that I need duplicates to do two things is too much. Okay, I think we're in luck because it looks like the super hot stuff doesn't even get to touch it. Okay, that that that's good. What's the temperature? I mean, it's gone up by another 0.1, but that that's fine. This guy, 66. We've got 30 milligrams of uh, sour gas here down at the bottom where it's going to be thickest. Let's have a look. We've got 900 this side and 800 this side. Okay, th this this should work. It's just going to take time, as we know. I, I didn't mean to let this go nearly all the way to vacuum, but I, I don't want to do the next bit that I need to do. And that, of course, is taking out this beautiful little natural cove that we've had here since literally the beginning of the game. Like, we've got some other places around that kind of like it, like this up here in particular, and like over here. And then, of course, we've got the whole sort of area over here that has just been completely untouched. I suppose there's a little one down here as well. Uh, but but I, I just don't want to do what we need to do. And, of course, the thing that we need to do is put down a a bunch of, let's find them here, steam turbines. Uh, I want one there, and then I'm going to leave a gap, and I'm going to do another one. Because I'm going to have a cooling chamber. Let, let's indeed put down uh, something like a line here. I'm going to have a cooling chamber for the super, super hot rock that's coming up at like 1100, 1200 degrees, whatever the number of degrees this gets shipped up and into this area. It's going to be really hot. And then we'll have a system where it like all loops around back and forth, and then goes around and keeps going in a loop. I think, I think you understand the concept that I mean. Uh, until eventually we get to the right temperature. The temperature that we're going to know by... Let's get the shipping out of here. Uh, I want to have the conveyor meter. The conveyor meter is a beautiful new material... A beautiful new piece of equipment, sorry. That will take a... Let's pop this down here, so, so that it does. That will take a automa uh, an automation system, a rail thermo sensor is what I want, and we're going to pop that down there. Uh, so we're going to come along with the conveyor rail here. We're going to jump in with a conveyor bridge, just so we don't overload stuff. That's, that's kind of the main trick there. Uh, and then we're going to go up, we're going to check the temperature, and if it's not right, we're going to send it back on a cooling little loop like this. I think there are uh, police... Also, emergency services outside. Uh, sorry if you can hear that. Uh, let's let's go down here because it wasn't working the way I wanted it to work. So we're going to do. Look, it's still not working the way I want it to work. Uh, I want I want to come down in here for this one. So we're going to something like this. Trying to figure out the uh, the optimum path for your conveyor rails. I feel it's half the trouble with this game. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get a whole bunch of new uh, copper over here. Uh, whilst I was watching all this and thinking, I. I I also got some thimble reeds set up over here. We were getting absolutely swamped with the polluted water to the point where this is the line that goes to make oil. I didn't have enough water in there to make oil, so I ended up shunting this through the uh, the, the refinement. 
the water sieve over here, and uh, that then tops up the line down and through. I'm even tempted now to destroy this water line going up and around the back and try and make use of it uh, elsewise. I was thinking about putting uh, some thimble reeds over here, but actually it got too cold. The thimble reeds couldn't survive. So, so over here, it, it got a little hot because the water coming in is like 60 degrees, something like that. So I, I redid... I redid the, the heating line here. Oh man, I wonder what trouble that has caused elsewhere in the system. That That's gonna be pretty bad. Somewhere, that's gonna be pretty bad. Uh, anyway, uh, and th this is now cooling everything down over here to, to a nice usable temperature. Of course, we don't really need the thimble reeds because we got ourselves a drink. What? Why are you unreached? Oh, because you're underneath. Okay. Uh, Draco farm. I was just like, oh no, where's all my Dracos? But of course, there, there's eggs everywhere, so that's fine. Uh, and this, like, shears them for reed fiber. We've got, we got a lot of reed fiber, 119, but I need to eat the, the polluted water, so we're doing that. Anyway, over here, I was saying something about how we need to... Oh, man. Look at this. This isn't actually what I need. Hmm. The problem being that I need to put another insulated wall here. Okay, we're going to have a smaller room here. But I'm probably going to end up putting a thermal aqua tuner in there, and then we'll have like a cooling system, and the, the final part of this will go through here. So we're, we're just bringing it down to 100 degrees or whatever. Dump it over here where the cooling system will then cool it further. I, I think that's probably what we're going to go with. Is it hot around here, Curie? Is it really? I mean, it might be just a little bit like 100 degrees or something. I'm going to try something a little bit weird. I don't know whether it'll work or not. I literally just sort of imagined it sat here being like, how can I sort these waters out? But how about if we send the waters round in a loop from, from one place to another? Oh, sorry. This storage has water and polluted water in it. I want the water out. I want to leave the polluted water behind. Now, this pipe is going to almost always be entirely filled with water here. I'm wondering if we cycle liquids round, that any time there's a little bit of space, you can see the some water moving so there will be some space under there at some times I'm, I'm, I'm seeing 100 uh, 10 kilograms of water anyway if there's ever any room uh, it will allow some of the water out I'll get back to you about that one I don't know how well it's gonna work I, I I'm hoping it does work it'd be much better if we could like meter the amount of water coming in here uh, to like 900 or something and then it would like match up unless it could yeah I, I, I don't know. I don't know what we could do to be better there but I feel like this this is a new mechanic for me that I need to experiment with. The ability to sort out water just like this. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is genius. Maybe this is just another one of my failed experiments. Who, who knows? If you do know, let me know. So somehow, and I'm really not sure how, the temperatures have just spiked up around here. We've got like 150, 160. I have no idea how that's happened. We, we, like, don't get me wrong, we've got some hot stuff back here. There's some wire that's really, really hot around. But I don't know what just made that happen. Let's, let's try and sweep some stuff up, see if that helps. Do, do we need someone on this on this asteroid that's entirely just for going around and cleaning up. I, th I think there might be something we need here. We can we can support them, definitely. So, yeah, I, I'm going to gonna give thought to that. Okay, so it's spinning round. Is that going to be another? How about, let, let's do a little experiment. I think, we can, I think we can risk one bit here. I'm hoping that this just doesn't... Mm, Okay, the fact that that is now moving worries me because obviously I don't want any polluted water going... Okay, 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 look at this. So I am now looking at the liquid pipe. It contains seven, ten, seven, ten, seven, ten. That's great. So that's going to sort itself out until all of this disappears. I'm going to sit here and watch this. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think this is a system that I want to just leave unattended for any period of time. I, I think you can understand why I do not want polluted water to mix back into this system. So it's not it's not a completely like un, like an automatic system. I, you know, it's pretty good though. So does that mean I'm using three kilos per water movement? You know, the, the, the water's moving at a certain rate, and then the time it takes to go from here to here, I'm using three kilos in this, which means this is like one kilo a second. Let's have a look. That might, that might not be true. We're, we're, we're going to find out. One kilo a second. All right, yeah, cool. Look at that. Deduction, my friends. That's why I'm at university. <laughs> 
I need to figure out where this water's coming from. There, there is no way that we can keep materials down here with 1100 degrees stuff right next to it. Even if I make it out of steel, we cannot keep stuff that hot down here. It just won't work. Uh, this guy got gets to pump away, but this isn't. I assume it's because this gas pump is not as hot as this guy. This is a 100 degree gas pump. Wow, no wonder it's pumping the steam. Uh, it's coming out of here and just kind of being dropped. I guess that's okay, but there are obviously some big issues here. Like the water is 56 degrees. That That's, that's hot, hot. <laughs> like really hot. <laughs> All right, we got, we got to take this one. This is just a good all-rounder, but does also have a uh, an interesting tiding. Also, super hard digging research. This, 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 is, this is interesting. Now, normally, when I take on a new scientist, I, I use their last name, but this time I'm not. This guy, uh, Tycho... Oh, I, can, I, I, don't, I don't remember their last name. Brahi? Uh, that, this guy was, uh, like, the, the full front of astronomy of his time, was making amazing scientific observations with instruments that have never been seen before with the, like the cutting edge, like he was making the cutting edge technology. Tycho was a, a titan of his time. Unfortunately, couldn't give up the uh, the Earth-centric, geocentric model. Uh, and that's why he didn't come up with the correct form. Uh, Kepler, his uh, student in big inverted commas, did. Uh, Kepler actually responsible for some of the first serious espionage in uh, astronomy. When Tycho died, he stole all of Tycho's data because it was so good and then came up with his Keplerian law. Uh, so that, that's an interesting story right there. Tycho, welcome. How are you doing? You, you're going to be just our general tidy person for, for the moment. I feel like at some point they're going to become a bit more important to our uh, to our job as the tidying as well. There we go. Supplying and tidying. You go around and you do those two things. We're going to actually put them on super high priority here. Well, uh, yeah, it's super high priority for them, isn't it? Uh, not research. I want the skills. Super hard digging. It's already there. That's amazing. But we want uh, improved strength strength and at some point I'd like to improve oh I did that the wrong way around well well we got the mor morale for it that that's good uh, and then we'll do the improved carrying at some point as well uh, you should just well all right yeah you can go take a shower but should just be going around and tidying things away that's good that's exactly what we want oh no we've got tired people tired and hurt people can we put them in the well oh there's a lot here we we can we can put them in the cots overnight let's do that Oh, they are so slow. Oh, it's been a while since we've had a duplicate of this, this, this slow. I don't think you coming down this way is a great idea, Mr. Tycho. I think you're about to get ridiculously scolded by the steam. We're going to have to try and turn... So, oh, 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 you turned around. Okay, that that's fine. That's much, much better. I was... Carried items in. What happened? What were you doing that suddenly you're not going to go do? Something more important must have arrived. I know, I'm just... I'm just happy you're not gonna go burn yourself. Thank you very much. Wait, what have I, what have I done? Does anybody know what this is at the top of my screen here? I did not ask for that. I don't know where this has come from. I don't even know how long it's been up there. Oh, what is this? Like, I don't, I don't wanna use them. Uh, this is not something that I want to be doing here. Why are you here? Go away. <laughs> anyway, we got Rutherford to go through and uh, knock out all of the uh, the little bits of magma that were trapped inside areas. Hopefully at some point he'll come along and knock these areas out as well, which should mean that I can just carry on pushing all of this across. And we don't, we don't need Rutherford then to... Well, I mean, we, we do need him to dig the actual obsidian. How can he reach these? Well, regardless, anyway, uh, we, we are going to need him to get through some of these other layers. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know exactly how we're going to do all this, but it, it, it's coming together. Slowly but surely coming together. How about this steam? We've got a vacuum up top and everything is just being chill down here. So I assume at some point it's just going to vacuum itself into nothing. Is that is that what we're seeing? I mean, it could be. It could be. I don't like the fact that we're making all our ladders like 100 degrees, though. <laughs> And whilst we watch Tycho go around and get used to keeping all of this asteroid in order, I would like to take a moment right here and tell you about the people that help me keep my life in order. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you can see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can actually carry on into the future as smoothly as possible. I mentioned it a few times, Oxygen Not Included takes a long time to actually produce, and indeed today I am producing this on the day that this is supposed to go out this is not how my life is supposed to be but i can make sure that everything gets done due to the help of my patrons so from the very very bottom of my heart 
thank you so much. Th these six in particular have been with me for so long now. I, I just, I cannot express thanks properly. Well, I was terrified when Kiri went and picked up the igneous rock from here, but she has carried it through and replaced it with an insula insulated tile. And for some reason, when you build stuff out of super hot materials, it just loses all its uh, all its heat and reverts back to 45 degrees. So, uh, yay. That's, that's sorted, question mark. Uh, let's also get those ladders done. We are slowly but surely making our way towards this water pocket here. I've made a nice little catch zone for it. Is it going to be enough? I really hope so. Uh, let's ask for all of this to be done at a high priority. We could do with actually these being put into place, but I think we're okay with her just dealing with whatever takes her fancy at the time. And of course, let's get Tycho coming along to sweep all this lot up. That that would also be very, very handy. Where is Tycho? What, what's he up to? I bet he's trying to deliver stuff. You're around somewhere. What, what are these dev tools? I still don't know. I still don't know how to turn it off. Maybe that's something I'm going to figure out at some Point. What I'm actually going to do is come to the priorities. I'm sure that wasn't there when I was doing this last time. I, I, I Maybe I've hit control and something at the wrong time. I'm going to turn down the supplying strength just a little bit because I'd rather he was going around to tidy up uh, sweeping and mopping and stuff like that. There's a lot of disinfect on here, but okay. But maybe it was actually... Maybe it was actually... Um, supplying that I wanted. That's Aaron type tidying, Aaron type storing. Is there a, like an actual storing priority as opposed to supplying? Storing. Okay, yeah, there we go. We're going to turn that one up and then these two down. All right, let, let's see what we did. That, that's what I want. That was by far the best option. All right, we're going we're gonna to go with that. How is Kiri scolding? What, what's going on? She she is hot enough to her. F3, just this area in general. How have the conveyor rep... Is it, is it, is it you? Are you moving temperature around? You're 82. Conveyor rail underneath. Six, why, why is this suddenly just ridiculously hot? I don't know. I assume it's some materials here. The oxygen's warm. The dirt is 200 degrees. All right, mate. Maybe something to do with that. I, I'm, I'm getting a little scared here. As you can see, we are running low on the water in the tank here. And when the water runs out, I do not want to be putting a bunch of polluted water in there. It would uh, it would make the original mess that we cleaned all over again. And that, that seems like a bad plan. We've got 23, 13, 19 in the tank. Of course, at some point, we're going to get less than 7. And I think that might be the point. Next one, maybe? Uh, okay, all right. Th th this is where I'm now going to just have to start watching this little blob down the end here and see how much we end up with. Is this the last one? Maybe the next one. I don't want it to go to zero. 5.4. Okay, now we don't have any polluted, uh, any regular water left in the tank. I'm going to connect that back together and hopefully we don't run out at any point. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, we're going to ask for that to get destructed and uh, I think I might just pump some of this water up into there. But, like, th this can only handle 500 kilograms, 5,000 kilograms, right? Uh, a tiny is a thousand kilograms so it can hold five but it takes up a space of six it's more space efficient just to dump your liquids on the floor it looks horrible so I, I, i'm gonna get rid of it throughout this all our struggles with the polluted water is still pretty legendary we were even getting some out of our oil uh well, I mean, is this an oil biome? There is indeed an oil well there, but at no point do we use this anymore for that. This is our Slickster Ranch with, like, you know, a petroleum generator farm on top of it because we're dealing with the carbon dioxide that they produce by feeding it all to the Slicksters and the occasional uh, molten Slickster that makes its way in here. That's not supposed to be happening, but everybody's kind of pressed for time over here because they keep taking on huge building orders. One of life's mysteries here on Reversal is where exactly all the polluted oxygen is coming from. Now, you might be like, well, Twitchy, I can see all of this polluted water over here, but like, there's a layer of water on top of it, and that should be stopping the off-gassing. Now, we do have things like bottles of polluted water and little puddles of polluted water over here, so we, we need to go around and try and pick those up. Not that I know where I would put them. Oh, look, there's a little puddle there as well that was uh, making our life troublesome. Like, I could, I could just dump them in here with the rest of the polluted water. You, you know what? I think I'm going to do it. Uh, because, you know, we're just 
slowly processing it. Uh, but to that end, I've asked for a, uh, a few more thimble reeds to be put down here. And as uh, soon as I get rid of this liquid bridge, I'm going to put even more down because I feel like we are just not using the water fast enough. Kelvin, why are you? Uh, they're, they're making uh, sand out of obsidian over here for the moment, for the moment, because uh, it's kind of full of carbon dioxide from this petroleum generator. I swapped all the priorities around, so now we're mostly running off of hydrogen instead, uh, which, which is going quite well, quite well. But for some reason, we ran out of igneous rock, would you believe? Uh, so we, uh, we, we now have the sieves running off of obsidian sand. These guys just, you know, doing their best life just being Starvation Ranch. Uh, back on Pyaxlin, how are we doing? It's still not done, but hey, at least we're getting some more thimble reeds. Okay, I think we're just about to let loose. Yeah, there it goes, a whole bunch of water. I'm gonna ask for that to be dug out, but I uh, hope there's room. Oh no, is there not gonna be room? Are we gonna overflow here? That, that wouldn't be ideal, to be honest. No, all right, okay, it looks like we might have got away with that one. All right, great, 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 great. Oof, I oof, was legitimately worried there. I mean, how much water do we have? Uh, 400, okay, so we, we could have actually put quite a bit more into each of those uh, those tiles there. Speaking of, yeah, we're already full over here. Okay, that that's unfortunate. And is it a mixed bag of water? It is. We could probably try to pump more into this system clear some room, wouldn't it? But I, I feel like that's just a little too micromanagey for the moment. Next thing I gotta do, build up the steam turbines, clear out the oxygen, seal this this door off. Am I gonna put a door in? No, I'm not gonna put a door in. We're just gonna seal up the wall. Maybe run the ladder up so we can get in and out if need be. Uh, sort out the, the cooling system over here. Once we've decided that, you know, it's cool enough, 200 degrees, something like that, we'll run it through here, just just a single pass before dropping it over this side where the the thermal aqua tuner here will be keeping the steam turbines cool and also this little patch of ground over here and maybe also the polymer press because that that gets a little bit warm maybe we'll move that over here and everything could just be here and we'll have like some sort of pickup system and things could get automated or we'll just leave it on the floor and the duplicates will deal with it just seems to be the way that happens far too often if we have a look over here ah oh, look stuff that just gets dumped on the bed. i mean i did dump it close to where it was needed so i I suppose there's a little bit of forward thinking. Okay, I've been waiting around long enough and we're nearly at the point where I need to do the next things over here. So I'm going to try and get this uh, automatic dispenser to be made over here. Curie is close by. She was just making the lines go down. Ooh. If you're wondering why this has taken so long and we've got, we've got all this time, like literally like tens of cycles before the igneous rock disappears, uh, it's because there's 48 thousand kilograms here 4. Uh, 48 tons of material that it must have either like glitched out i mean that that is a strong possibility or when the magma dropped down it kind of melted it all into one lump uh, no no that surely that wouldn't happen that would just like backfill Any, anyway what whatever happened here we got so much mass that it's just taking forever to to pass its heat across even this is a thousand i mean that that makes sense that's the amount that you would find in a single magma block but this one is like four five magma blocks ah cool someone went and bit, uh, built this so i'm gonna go all oh, sweep all oh, go let's just get everything moved and now the first thing people are gonna do is go and grab whatever is around closest to them that needs sweeping there's a whole bunch of stuff down here i'm okay with that that is fine to get started with they'll bring it over it will get dropped down it will lose its sweep status but then they'll be here and they'll get the stuff that's closer by and and that's what i need that is entirely what i need of course the real question i've got is when they start moving all the materials here uh, what what's so hot that it's uh, that it's gonna boil the water. Of course, I don't need anything from that. I, I I need the stuff from inside these rooms moved. To be fair, N none of this lot. This none of this really matters. The stuff inside the steam rooms does. Well, I mean, like that room took next to no time at all. Let's have a look and see how long this one's gonna take. I mean, this is the power of teamwork. Getting everybody in the base up and running and just doing everything we can. Of course, this does come with a cost. There are other jobs out there that they would normally be attending to that 
just aren't getting done right now. But you know, I think I think we can handle that just to you know really get the uh, the system moving. I do wonder whether some things that got dropped in here were hot enough there. I did I did I wasn't paying attention. I was watching over here. I wonder whether we had flashes of steam and then cooled down again because there is water moving. There is definitely water moving. Oh man, there's, there's some muck root there. That's no good. That's no good. Let's uh, throw down a ration box and maybe we can get that made a pretty high priority. Uh, and then when that's made, we'll turn up the priority for that. We could probably actually turn this one off now. That's not how you turn that off. <laughs> All right, put that down. I mean, nine, whatever. Let's, let's bring it down to a five. It doesn't really matter what it's at now. And we're just going to go, uh, hey, all food that's sweep only, go... Go, 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 please. That that should move everything. Yeah, Buck Crew is in there. That I hadn't even noticed because of the uh, the notifications here. Okay, with everything destroyed, I'm going to ask for that all to be swept up and taken away. And we kind of need to now deal with some gases here. Do I just drop one like that? I think we might. Uh, I also need to remember to put some liquid vents in each of these before I completely forget. And then we end up trying to break back in when the situation is much more inconvenient. Okay, let's try something like that. Uh, we we are of course going to be filling this one in oh wait what have i done no uh, i need to do this destroy this block on the corner wait I, I had already thought about this i had already thought about this and then we run up the uh, the ladder there that should make i mean this keeps this exposed for the moment we got we got we got to think about this a little bit more like we, we could totally put some some blocks across here squish this down a bit more because it's not like this actually gets filled up with magma all the way to the top at any point though maybe the way it's going it might do we we've We've had some eruptions and it does keep filling up and we don't seem to be using any of this magma that is very much keeping its temperature now because this door is being held open there's a nice little vacuum seal in there power of the vacuum is what it's all about i say looking at this horrendous mess that failed within the first couple of moments we've never been able to get enough pumps in there to to clear it all out again oh it's it's horrific <laughs> There is definitely something here that's causing trouble. We're getting... A, so there's 113 degree plastic. I mean, that sounds like like it's some trouble okay well let's try and get everything moved up here and see what happens are people going to actually take that yeah okay is it the, the, is it going to be the uh, the plastic we need moving that that's another question i just don't understand why it's so hot Okay, the filling of the coolant loop is happening. It's taken a little bit of water away from my oil production and we're still not fully formed, but I think we're ready for a test run. I'm going to hit all on this and then literally this auto sweeper is just going to put anything and everything it can find onto this rail. The rail will travel up. Now, this obsidian is pretty hot. That's uh, 1,200 degrees obsidian right there and I think the tungsten... I mean, well, actually, that's 64 degrees. I'm, I'm happy that that is much lower. It's going to come up and it's going to drop itself into this water. I'm good with that. And every time it goes past this thermal um, thermometer, let's call it a thermometer, uh, thermal sensor for the rail line here, uh, it will tell this shutoff whether to turn off, on or off. I mean, we've already gone down to 300 degrees, but that is not less than the 250. So it didn't, it didn't swing. Wait, some, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Wait, no, we got tungsten. Where, where's where's the, uh, the obsidians at the front there? That's not good. I mean, it's already dropped its temperature a lot, but that was not quite what I was hoping for. But it is extracting all the equipment out, and that, that that's kind of good. And the next thing I need to do is to attach this power line. Oh, it's, got, it, it's been done. It's been done. So I think we're going to raise the temperature here just a little bit if we turn this up to 1200 see what happens there that should then break this open i should have put a delay between the two but that's a bit hard to do now wow this is going to take a while to break the igneous rock by the looks of it and then this will come along and just start moving it back and forth i mean is there a way for me to now go yo uh, uh, put this back down to 11 1100 uh, and le leave this little bit of igneous rock here it will provide heat still it will be fine no no this 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 isn't gonna actually be good because the temperature can't get down to the thermo sensor i don't know we'll figure it out but more importantly it, i've got a whole load of igneous rock onto the uh, onto the line now i've got danger overheating warning 
That is not what I want. I can I can see why it's happening. I can definitely tell why it's happening. Unfortunate because I've got a conduction panel here. I mean, it is made of lead, so that makes sense. Maybe we'll just pull it apart and make a, a new one out of steel. It only goes up to like 60, 70 degrees at the moment. I mean, we've not we've not put all the uh, the igneous rock in there that we can, and indeed many 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 tons there. Okay, so for some reason this isn't flowing as I expected it to. I'm gonna need a bridge coming down here, right? Like, would, would be, let's just turn this around. I need something like that. And unfortunately, I have destroyed my liquid lock. So we're gonna have to try and get back in there uh, and make that good. The stuff on the rail is indeed cooling down. It's just not quite how we want it to happen. All right, all right, we, we, we can make this work. We can make this work. How hot has this got, by the way? This, this is gonna be very hot. Maybe we need to put a different system 61 degrees actually that's that's doable with anything other than lead so maybe we'll rip this down and put something else back in this place uh let's let's turn this i mean this is already on 1100 uh, this is not controlled by the electronic okay all right that that's fine i was kind of hoping to have a way to turn it on or off all right uh liquids i just want a whole bunch of water dumped in here i don't care where it's from let's do this Good that Kiri was the one to deliver the water, because then she can rip this apart. I think we're also going to have to turn that up super high. Uh, and I think we're going to put a break in the line there. That that should help. That should work. That should make everything beautiful again. Of course, the next thing we need to do after all that is to like just close it all down and uh, squish all the water back in. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Let's turn that off. Tycho, are you really the one coming along to try and put stuff on the conveyor bridge? Uh, I don't think so, actually. It's Von Braun. Okay, br brilliant. Uh, that, that's that's better. Tycho, just a little bit too slow for what we need. All right, here comes Curie to make the bridge full uh, and hopefully that will then just pass it across that that's that's what i'm hoping for that's what i want that's how it works in a lot of different systems and yeah okay there we go now now it's cycling we can uh close this down oh it looks like we gotta do it soon as well it looks like we've gotta do it soon go 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 the water the water is steaming my friends the water is steaming and we've wait wait we, we've melted something <laughs> Kind of makes sense. Tungsten's got a much higher melting point. Let's uh, let's get, get in there and do that if we can. I've got to put these back on nines, and then hopefully Curie's going to do a thing. I'm, I am a little bit worried right now. I am a little bit worried. Who's going to be bringing this? Von Braun, where are you bringing it from? All the way over there. Okay, that that's fine. Curie needs to stop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, though. It is very much appreciated, but yeah, you really needed to have not been doing that. Let's turn that down to a one, uh, and then someone needs to come along and, and make this work. Okay, but I'm not having the best time inside the steam box, but I, I guess that's kind of acceptable. Oh, we don't have power up here, and that is why these are not turning on. We need to figure out how these are getting their power out of here, or oh, the spline is a long way away. We could come down through here. I've been thinking about it pretty hard, but I don't think that's what I want to do. <laughs> Maybe we'll just feed the water back into the system, and I think also we should probably connect these together i i haven't done it and it needs to happen all right there, there we go that that should now be cooling everything down a little bit better von braun please please finish okay here comes curie to get the work done good work good work we're gonna have to instantly pause this and go if below 250 okay that that's better and now we want this built if you could please curie in fact can we just like do that okay there we go uh you're not on the right side of that let's get you out of there before you manage to lock yourself in all right cool and now we just kind of start building this all down and uh switch the water back in there great what is the melting point of tungsten? So 3,400. I, th I think we're totally fine with that. And we've just hit down below 250. This then comes through and gets completely chilled. This, uh, this thermo sensor here, below 7? No, if above uh, 150. We want this to be like relatively cool in here. So we'll, we'll try and turn on the steam turbine as quick as possible. And like the same for this guy, actually. We'll just turn it on as soon as it is... Uh, it is reasonable. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of heat out of here still. That That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping they would come out more chill than 170. But we've got a whole bunch of stuff that is uh, cooling everything down out here. This is a lot of stuff that we just need to sweep up at some point. Like, everything along here just all needs to get swept up. But I think with that, 
we've actually done the things that I set out to do today. We've got ourselves 21 tons of igneous rock that needs to be extracted from this area, but the cooling seems to indeed be cooling this down here. Yeah, we've gone from uh, 250 back up to 1,000, and then we're going to go back down slowly but surely back down to 250. I've got a feeling the steam is just going to carry on warming up until we get there. Deconstruct that tile, deconstruct that tile. I think you can see what I'm doing here, just deconstructing the tiles and uh, slowly squishing everything down. If this now, no, no, all right, we're not not allowed to do that. Right, the steam turbine turns on. That is good. We're slowly squishing this down over here. I will see you guys next time where I actually think it's time. We, we, we've got some water in our cooling loop around the uh, the research reactor. That, that can only mean one thing. That's right, we've got to figure out how we're going to feed uranium in there. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.